When I was in high school, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Land surveying is the measurement and mapping of landforms, property boundaries, and construction projects. Surveying careers offer opportunities to work in the field or in an office, but all surveyors need to be organized and precise because their work is critical to meet exacting standards for modern construction, official records, and land use. I'm Curtis. I'm a land surveyor in training at Widseth. Widseth specializes in land surveying, engineering, architecture, and environmental services, and is the leading surveying firm in our region, providing extensive service to governments, commercial builders, and private landowners. Each of our nine offices here at Witseth has a land surveying department. We have approximately 35 staff members that are land surveyors, technicians, and land surveyors in training. A surveyor does a variety of things from your basic settle a squabble between neighbors where their property line is to going out and anytime you see a construction project, a building going up, we tell them where to build everything, where the road's going in, the curb and gutter goes, the building goes. Basically a land surveyor in training is someone who has gotten their four-year degree and is doing their apprenticeship towards becoming a licensed land surveyor, getting their hours in, their training in under a licensed land surveyor. I grew up in Brainerd. I went to Brainerd High School. The first day my crew chief said, what do you know about surveying? And I said, nothing. I've never heard of this before. And so I did it for the first summer and I didn't really much like it, but I said, I've got my foot in the door with the company, so I'm gonna come back for a second summer. And I, my second summer, I really started to love it. And the next two summers, I loved it a little bit more each summer. I liked being outside. Now I do mostly drafting for what our field guys do. They bring in their information that they collect in the field and I draft it up on AutoCAD and do the finished drawings for my boss to review and sign. I like the variety that this job brought me. The career ladder for surveyors usually starts out in the field as an assistant on a survey crew. With a two-year certificate, you can become a land survey technician. If you complete a four-year degree in land surveying, you can become a surveyor in training and work your way up to becoming a licensed land surveyor. What you learn in school is only about 10% of what you're gonna use out in the field. You learn 90% of your job out when you get out into your job field. Professionals in surveying careers can work in a variety of specialized areas, including cartography, geographic information systems, and photogrammetry. We're looking for people that are able to communicate with the public, they're able to interact with clients and contractors and other staff members as well. Um, the, the folks that we get in here in, in the land surveying department, they're good at solving problems, they're good at working with others, and they're good at working in environments that can be kind of challenging. I started out as a rodman on a survey crew. I was promoted to a crew chief. And then I became a survey tech, and then I became a land surveyor in training, and within five months I hope to pass my final test and become a licensed land surveyor. There are careers for surveyors all across the country. Here in Minnesota, more than 2,000 people work in land surveying and mapping careers, and the demand for new surveyors is expected to grow 11% in the next five years. There's definitely a shortage of surveyors, so if kids are thinking about it. It's not, a, it's not a field where you're gonna go and you're gonna struggle to find a job. You get your two year, you get your four year, you're gonna be able to walk out and get a job. As a high school student, it is important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about careers in land surveying. If you're in high school now and are interested in land surveying, uh, you should be focusing on upper level math courses. Um, if you're interested in technology, um, drones, um, computer aided drafting, those are the types of things that you want to focus your areas on in school. If you're thinking that you want to have a career in surveying, do a Google search of survey firms in your area and contact one or two of them and do a ride along. Most companies will definitely let you, if you contact them, do a ride along. We've done many ride-alongs with kids, um, a couple that we've met through the Bridges program. I would say if you enjoy um, solving problems, if you enjoy the outdoors, 
If you enjoy challenges involving you know, building construction projects, uh, land development, those types of things, then I think land surveying would be a great career for you. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life when there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice, one that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit bridgesconnection.org.